So this video is to answer a question about how do we extract a page out of a PDF document that's on our Remarkable so that we can have it as a single sheet because when you load, <clears throat> so I've shown you this document before, oh, well you may not have seen it, but um, when you load up a PDF like this, you can't edit or extract any data any pages in here. You can't do it. doesn't matter what document you're in. Um, let's just pretend we're in one of our planners. This is how I'm going to show you today. You can't, um, you can't edit. This is a read only app. It's a reader app. Unless you've got the connect subscription, then you can write. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can delete pages. I don't currently have that subscription. But you certainly, um, in, in this free app for the Remarkable, you cannot um, start altering a document. So my advice to you, if that's what you want to do, then what I'm suggesting you do, back out in your folder, wherever you took that this PDF from. I took it from here. So I've opened, I've opened that PDF up, right? That's the Monday Weekly, the planner we've got. I've opened it up here. Let me just move it down. Sorry, it's a little bit down there. How's that? I've opened it up and just to show you all the linking works, you can see that it's the proper PDF. I can get around the document. Let's go to the customize screen for a second. This is how we customize this planner. We can add all of the um, papers that we want in there. And today I thought we'd just have, we'd have a look at the project plan. Oh, should we do the weekly report? Um, do the weekly report okay so it's important to make a note um, you could just duplicate this PDF and then delete the other 154 pages so you're left with one you could do it that way I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to show you a different way it feels a little more complicated but it's very specific if I was to go to print this page which is command P on the Mac Right, um, if you've got a Windows machine, you will know what it is on yours. What I can do, I can do many things over here. And so it gives me a lot more options. I just want to print page 149 because this is the page in our pretend world that you've told me you want to upload as a single page to your Remarkable. So I'm going to do that. But instead of just, let me just move this up a little. Instead of just printing now, because I don't want to send it to my printer, I can save as a PDF, which is what I'm going to do. And now it's going to ask me, where do I want it? And I'm just going to put it in here. So I'm going to press save. And you will notice over here, you see there, see that syncing, that file, that's it there. It's still called Monday Weekly. I should have changed the name to show you, but that's okay. There it is. It's finished doing. So when I double click on this now, it's a one page. See how that's just one page. It is the page we extracted. It's all there, beautiful. Uh, I'll just close it for a second to show you. Now, because your original question was how do I get it um, onto my Remarkable as a single page, you now, like we always do when we're uploading using the desktop app, we just drag and drop. And you see, I just want to read that out. Drop file to upload to your Remarkable. PDF and EPUB files are supported. So. You can't load a PNG file this way. You can only load a PDF file or an EPUB file. So let, I, I released my finger. Now let's have a look and see what happens. You can see now that it's taking a second. Even though it shows it's there, it's not there yet. It's There we go. That document's now uploaded into the app. It doesn't mean it's uploaded onto your, onto your device. Now I've got my Remarkable here. I know you can't see it but I'm just having a look at it now. And there it is, it's just arrived. The It's amazing how much quicker um, that sync is with the new 3.2 release. Right, so that's all, that's actually arrived at my device and it's all good. Now, I will show you, the way I can show you my device is I will, sh I will screen share. I'll go into that document right now. I'm going to tap on the... The little screen sharing icon down the bottom 
going to accept it and there it is now you can see what I can see on my remarkable and I can show you that by saying and uh, let me type but uh, let me write hello how are you how are you it's pretty cool then I'm going to go over and I'm going to erase all and you can see um, oh that's I was going to show you the red dot but it doesn't matter okay so that's how um, and I'll stop sh I'll stop sharing so that now we're back here that was one I practiced with earlier let me just move that to the trash so you can see now <clears throat> that this one pager came out of if I go into here go into here go into planners um, it was the Monday weekly that I had on my desktop that's where I took the page from and there it is now as a single page and you can when you go into it not here on your desktop but it, on your device you can duplicate this page as many times as you like in fact will it let me let me screen share again I'm not sure if it will show you because no when I go into I've just clicked these four squares but you can't see it what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a long press, I'm going to duplicate, and then when I tap on it, it's really just going to show you the page I'm in, and it looks exactly the same. Um, and I can't show you multiple pages on screen share. You can only show one page at a time. So I'm going to hop out of that now. I'm going to hop out of screen share. Stop, st stop sharing. And I'm going to go back there and what it may show you in a second when it updates, it may show you that that's got two pages in it now, that document. Let's see. That's interesting. On my device it says page two of two, but on here it says page one of one. <clears throat> but let's just give it a second. <laughs> um, all things take a minute. There we go. See how it's updating now? Synchronizing. It's good to know. So that, see how it says page one of two now? It's because I added a second page to it. Okay. So that's how you get a single PDF onto your, onto your remarkable device through the app. And then you can duplicate that page. So now when I double click on it and go to pages, you can see there's two, two pages. Right, and, and on your remarkable device, you can duplicate this as many times as you want. It's a little more complicated doing it on your desktop, duplicating this page. You have to drag pages into it over and over and over again. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. But that is how you can extract a page as a PDF and then drag it, drag that PDF over into your remarkable and then there it is you've got it I hope that helps <laughs> oh I always pick the wrong one <laughs>